Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name's Caitlin and I want to flex my beautiful new organiser in the background for just two seconds because she's beautiful and she brings me so much joy. <laughs> anyway, today we are going to be doing quite a fun video. If you don't know, I am on a low buy. A very, very, very low buy. <laughs> Which is really sad. But I'll pull through, I know I will, I'll pull through, don't worry guys. So yeah, today we are going through my makeup wish list and the makeup that I'd buy if I was a billionaire, which unfortunately I'm not, um, though I wish I was, desperately, um, but hey, we all gotta, we all gotta push through, you know? <laughs> anyway, yep, yeah, let's just get straight into this video. Okay, the first thing, I'm gonna move over. Oh look, my beautiful organisers. So yeah, the first thing that I have to mention is the, what are they called? The Urban Decay High Shine, Hi-Fi, Hi-Fi, Shine, Chi, Sha, but about These things, they look, they're not new. Some of these things aren't new, they're just things that I want. Um, <laughs> but these, they just look like heaven. Heaven on the lips, they're so shiny so pigmented. I was actually in um, Debenhams before lockdown and I swatched one and I was like oh. I almost died. I almost died. I need these. I need them. I'm sorry. I need them. These are, what are they? £16. <laughs> Honey, I'm a student. I don't have £16 for a lip gloss. I wish I did though. I'd be the happiest person alive if I got some of these but hey ho! Gotta push forward, like I said. Something else that I actually really wanna try is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I haven't actually tried this yet. I know it's a dupe for the Toucher Primer in the scoopy thing. You know what I mean. It's a dupe for that. <laughs> I'm not I'm not buying that. Um, I'm not buying the Toucher. Isn't it like 50 pounds? No, thank you. I'll, I'll stick with the e.l.f. I don't have a primer in that formula, I just have like normal, normal primers. But yeah, I have primers, I'm on a low buy, so I'm gonna have to just do without. <laughs> Something that I actually was going to buy, I was out, I was in town, I had my money and I was like, okay, time to buy this, is the Essence, what's it called? Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Now I've seen so many people rave about this highlighter, I can't find it anywhere. Is it discontinued? Because I, it's gone. It's disappeared. I've gone in my Wilco where my essence stuff normally is. Never there. Never there. So I don't know if it's been discontinued but that's like 3 99 I think. 4 99 I lied. I'm really sorry. Um yeah but I, if it is discontinued let me know because I cannot find it anywhere and I really want to give it a go because everyone is just raving about it. Something that also intrigued me, another thing from the drugstore, is the Revolution Pro um, full coverage concealers. I've heard a lot of people say that they like crease under the eyes and they're not that great, but they're really super full coverage. I can kind of imagine them being a bit like the Huda Beauty Concealer, just like cement. <laughs> but I, st I don't know, I still want to try it. It is £8, so it's pretty expensive for a drugstore concealer, but and like I said, I still want to try it and like waste eight pounds possibly. I don't know. <laughs> I get all of my makeup recommendations from a lovely girl called Makeup by Missa. She is, she is my favorite person to watch ever. She creates such colorful, stunning looks. Like, like my makeup style is very heavily influenced by her. She doesn't just pop a brown in the crease and then off we go. She like phenomenal pieces of artwork. That's all I can say. Just artwork on her on her face. And it's <laughs> incredible. So yeah, go check out Makeup by Missa if you don't already. She's at like 60k I think. She deserves so much more. But she recommends all the time the Benefit Cookie highlighter and I've seen so many other people recommend this as well. I'm just poor, you know? I'm a student, um, and I'm saving for a flat. Uh, mm. <laughs> so like, you know, rent or like a highlighter? It's a tough decision, but I think, I think, 
I'd rather choose rent, though, you know, that could change. <laughs> but no, Benefit Cookie is so beautiful. It's like this white kind of, oh, I know Jacqueline Hill loves that. I just love it so much. It is my birthday in September and I have just said to everyone, just get me money. Just give me money because I'm going to be poor for uh, three years. <laughs> but I might just use £12 to get a little mini one treat myself I don't know should I ah I feel guilty about spending money that's my thing I feel so guilty I like save up and save up and save up for something and then when I go to buy it I'm like no no it's not worth it I have an issue guys I have an issue something that's also intrigued me is the Morphe continuous setting mist I want it I don't believe in setting sprays I never use setting sprays I think it's a lockdown thing. Lockdown has literally made me forget about setting spray because I don't care if this comes off in three hours because no one's seeing me. But I just haven't noticed a difference, really. But <laughs> that being said, uh, the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist I've seen so many people rave about. Um, people have been saying it's the best mist on the market. You need this. And I'm like, yeah, I do need that. I've been sucked in, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I do need that, when I don't, but I want it. That's really bad, isn't it? Oh well. I don't need it, but I want it. I feel like a spoiled brat. I'm like, I want it. No. <laughs> I promise, all of this is going to be like my own money. I'm not going to be like, oi, get me that. <laughs> I promise. Or will I? No, joking. I'm joking. Okay, so a cheaper product that I might actually get. Ah, this is not very good for no buy, but... I'm trying. Uh, this is the Colourpop Going Coconuts palette. Oh my god. I know this is like the most boring palette in the world, but the only Colourpop palettes that I currently have are the like monochromatic collection. So I've got like bright red, bright orange, bright yellow, you get it. And I love those formulas. Love, 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 love those formulas. But if I use a Colourpop palette in my collection currently, I'm gonna be going out with like bright blue eyes. And sometimes I just wanna put a brown in, sometimes I wanna be lazy. So yeah, I really, really want the Colourpop Going Coconuts palette. And I might get it, cause it's like 12 pound. No, I can't, but I really want it. Ah! <laughs> so something else that I actually really wanna buy, oh my God, I'm not doing well for this no buy, is just a black lipstick, any black lipstick. Every single black lipstick that I have tried has been so drying. I put it on my lips, not even a minute later, my lips are like, <sighs> I don't, don't care if I put lip balm on, if I put lip gloss on, if I just bathe them in water for like three hours before putting them on, dries out my lips to oblivion. So I need recommendations. If anyone has any black lipsticks that doesn't dry out their lips, let me know. And my lips are super sensitive, so I do need something that is like very moisturising. You've heard me rave on about the Revlon, what are they called? revlon -y... I don't know what they're called. The Revlon ones, you know, I'll put a picture up somewhere in the screen. But the Revlon ones, I really, really need a black lipstick. I don't need it, but I want it! Oh. <laughs> this is my, this is my endeavour, guys. <sighs> It's a hard life for me. <laughs> Feel sorry for me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna finish this video here, I think. Uh, it's short, sweet, punchy, got to the point. I look like Mickey Mouse, upside down. That's a look. <laughs> okay guys, if you are actually wondering, the palette that I have on my eyes today is the Subculture palette, and my lips are the Colourpop Lippy Sticks in the shade Cookie. These two together, oh my god. I need to stop talking. Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much guys for watching. Let me know what kind of products have you got in mind because I would love to have a little conversation in the comments. I try to reply to everyone and yeah. Have an amazing day guys. Like and subscribe and I'll be back with another video. Bye guys!